In this tutorial, we're going to introduce you to layers. So layers in Rhino are ways to organize your file, um, apply different display properties so you can easily distinguish between geometries, um, or apply a different material to a broad collection of, of things that have the, the same properties. So here I have um, five objects, and they're all on different layers. I can change an object's layer uh, in a couple different ways. I can select the object, and I can go down to the status bar, and I can uh, click the, the layer status indicator, and I can change it um, to the, the in the pop-up. I can also select an object, and I can right-click on a layer that I want to change it to, and I can go down to change object layer. You can do this for multiple objects as well. You can create new layers in a couple different ways. If you go to your layers tab, um, on the top menu bar you'll see a new layer button. And it will create a default layer um, that you can rename. And now you can change objects to it. You can also right click on a blank portion of the layers tab and um, click the new layer in the pop-up. I can rename layers um, by double clicking on the name or I can right click on the layer that I want to rename and go down to the rename, rename layer option. I can also turn layers on and off using the light bulb indicator. So if I don't want to see these objects, I can just click the light bulb and they will, um, they will hide from the view. You can also lock layers, so for instance, if these were buildings I didn't want to change, like they're contextual buildings, I can lock them. And now if I select um, inclusively um, over the model, I'm not going to be able to select locked objects. I can still hide and show locked layers as well. I can also change the appearance of layers by clicking the uh, color indicator and we'll change all of the objects. If I click an object and I go to its object properties, by default its display color is by layer, but I can change this to whatever I want, but I wouldn't advise uh, doing this very often. That's because you start to get lost, especially if you have uh, an object with a color that is the color of another layer, for instance, layer 1. Now it will be hard for me to distinguish what layer exactly this is on. You can always find exactly what layer this is on by um, going to the Properties tab, looking at its object properties, and looking at its layer, or selecting the object and looking at the status bar. Although on the status bar, if you have multiple objects on different layers, you'll see that eventually that changes to varies, as well as in the object properties. I can delete layers as well. I can right click on a layer, and I can go down to the delete layer in the pop-up. Now if there are objects on the layer, it's going to prompt me, do I actually want to delete this layer? If there's no objects on the layer, I can right click and delete it, and it won't prompt me. Um, it won't give me any security check. I can collectively change the material for objects on certain layers as well. So let's go into a rendered view mode. All of these layers have a default material attached to them, but I know that these objects are on layer 3, and I'm going to collectively change the material in layer 3 to a new material I've created that is a, like a gold color. And now it's going to show me that all of these um, objects, since they were on layer 3, have changed to, um, to that material. You can individually change object materiality as well by going to the Properties 
um, into the object properties and changing um, its material on the, the subheader. The last thing we'll go over is creating and managing sublayers. Let's go to the Layers Property Browser here. Changes to a shaded mode. I'm going to change all of these objects to layer one. And let's say I want to make a, a sublayer of this. I can right click and I can go down to the new sublayer command. I can also click a layer and in the, um, the menu header for the layers tab, I can click new sublayer. And what that's going to do is create a layer that's associated with layer one here as its parent. So we'll call this um, sublayer one. Now I can change objects to sublayer one. Now if I hide the parent layer, it's going to hide all of them. But if I only hide the sublayer, it's only going to hide um, that item. The same applies for locking. If I have a layer that's already created and I want to make it a sublayer of another layer, I can click and I can hold and I can um, hover over what layer I want it to be its parent. So now layer 3 is a sublayer of layer 01. And these can get very extensive. You can have many, many sublayers um, on a certain um, parent layer. For instance, if this were structure, and this were something like columns, and this were something like beams. You can imagine the list getting fairly long. And now if I just want to turn the beams off, I can go ahead and do that. If I want to turn the columns off, I can. If I want to turn the whole structure off, I can do that as well. On the layers menu bar, you'll see a little check next to uh, uh, a single layer. This is your current layer, and if you don't have any objects selected, it's also what's represented on your status bar. This means any objects I draw will be drawn on that layer. You can change your current layer by right-clicking onto a new layer and setting it as current, and you'll see the check mark changes. Or you can double-click the layer. You can see that this was drawn on layer 4 and this was drawn on layer 1. If I want to select all of the objects on a certain layer or sublayer, I can do that by right-clicking on the uh, layer that I want to select the objects of and going down and selecting the Select Objects um, subheader. If I have certain objects on sublayers of another layer, I can also select uh, whether I want it to select all of the sub-object layers or just the, the layers objects. So here I have a layer on structure and then I have a layer on its sublayer columns and a sub, on its sublayer beams. If I right click on structure I can select objects which are just objects on the structure layer. I can also right click and select sub objects layer. layer is going to select everything um, on its sublayers as well as its own layer.